What about mosquitoes? Because once they start sucking your blood, a few days later it will grow like a mosquito bite in a bite and it will start itching. So how does that have to do with blood sucking because of the poison in your, because of how they spread their poison? Well, my friend, I guess you're going to have to tune in to this week's episode of The Universe in a Seashell. Shout it out, girl power. Girl power. Girl power. Girl power. Welcome to the universe in a seashell, the podcast dedicated to science, life, and girl power. I'm Kara Bartek, and I'm your host. I'm a PhD, an author, and I want to make this world a more equal and opportune place, one girl at a time. You're listening to The Universe in a Seashell. I am Kara, and I am your host. And I am joined this evening by my two favorite co-hosts, Penny. Hi, guys. And Cece. Hi, guys. Now, Penny, how old are you? Four years old. I'm almost turning five a little bit from Halloween. Right, right. Your birthday is coming up very quickly. Your birthday is going to be the 27th, very near Halloween. Not exactly Halloween, but but close enough to make it super cool, right? Now, do you really like Halloween? Yeah, and Christmas. Oh, Halloween and Christmas. Well, guys, we're continuing our 10-part series on bugs, but since we are getting so close to Halloween, we're gonna make sure that we're keeping it real spooky. What do you guys think? You ready to keep it real spooky? And it's kind of already real spooky. So um, guys out there that are listening, you can probably hear on the audio that we're joined by thousands and thousands and thousands of bugs. This is actually not a, a track or a special effect that I add in. We're actually recording from our back porch out in the middle of nowhere. Now, right before we turned the audio on, there was a pack of coyotes that couldn't have been too far from us that were yipping and howling and really going crazy. And I'm hoping that they'll decide to come back on and maybe serenade our friends. That would be really nice to have them in the background. (laughs) It would be. It would be. It would kind of set the mood, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. So tonight we're going to be talking about insects obviously but we're keeping like i said with this halloween theme and so what we're going to be talking about has to do with one of my favorite halloween monsters dracula (laughs) what do you guys think about dracula or vampires in general they can be pretty scary in real life Okay, well, I've got some interviews that I did at y'all's dance lessons with our friends, and we're going to be talking about vampires. So tell me your opinion on vampires. They're really scary to me, but they're cool because they can turn into bats, but we have the movie Hotel Transylvania 1, 2, and 3, and Ali loves it and I love it but in real life vampires are scary to me. What would you think if I told you that you meet a vampire almost every single day of your life? Um, I would think they're not as scary. What's worse, a vampire or a blood sucking insect? A blood sucking insect because um, they suck her blood and it actually hurts super bad because then um, because then some of your blood um, goes out of your body. And that really stinks. Okay, so we've, we've set the stage and we've briefly talked about what some of these insects are going to be. But I need to get y'all's overall general impressions. What do you think about 
blood sucking insects because that's kind of one of the scariest things and i think that's what makes dracula so scary right is the fact that he comes and he wants to suck our blood <laughs> i think a bug that will imitate dracula is um ticks and fleas right and that's kind of almost scarier right because here's the deal Dracula is made up, but these insects that we're going to be talking about are real. They're totally real. So that, in a lot of ways, is almost scarier, right? Because, mm. but fleas and ticks, you can have fleas on you, but I don't know if ticks will be able to come close enough to you to suck your blood. Well, guess what? Um, we're we're going to be talking about this. But Dracula, he hunts your dreams and suck your blood. Oh, he haunts your dreams and sucks your blood? Yeah, it's it's terrible. It's like a double. It's like leeches It's a double identity. Yes, leeches, yes. They haunt your dreams and they can and suck your And then they your suck blood. your blood. Okay, so girls, are you ready to talk about some blood-sucking insects? Yeah. I want to suck your blood. Okay, so the very first insect we're going to be talking about is one of the worst blood suckers, and that is the mosquito. Ugh. That was like the first one that we did, the first episode of this series. That we yeah, on. the world's deadliest bug. So mm-hmm. when we talked about mosquitoes early in our um, bug series, we know that they kill more than any other kind of creature, more than sharks, more than elephants, and they're pretty awful, right? Well, okay, the females are the ones that actually suck the bloods of humans. Um, We talked a little bit about how males, they don't necessarily care for for blood. The females really want the blood because they're the ones that are... Producing the other babies. Right. They're, they're, they're reproducing, so they need a ton of energy. The, the, the male mosquitoes, they generally stick to nectar. They need the iron and stuff in the blood. They're like... Yeah, they suck out of those little bitty straw-like they, structures. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the terrible things. Now, when they're sucking your blood, did you know that they can transmit horrible, horrible diseases? Yes. Okay. Such as yellow fever? Yes. Malaria dengue and even west nile virus can they can they in the old days can they would mosquitoes um give leopard to some people leprosy Mm -hmm. uh no i don't believe that they would give leprosy but they do give pretty horrible leopard Mm -hmm. i'm like cheetahs suck blood or something no they don't they just like to rip your face off and they run really fast okay now Here's the deal. The word mosquito is derived from the Spanish word meaning little fly, okay? So they're itty-bitty little buzzing guys, and they're actually considered part of the fly family, okay? Now, they can detect infrared radiation that's emitted by their host as well as the host's emission of carbon dioxide and lactic acid. So basically, they can smell us breathing because we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out what carbon dioxide no carbon dioxide absolutely yes we're breathing out carbon dioxide so they know exactly where we're at they can also detect the infrared radiation that's that's emitted by us that's pretty crazy right can be sucked yes and they come <laughs> to suck our blood. Now listen, Did they, they suck can suck your heart. No, they generally just pierce the skin. Now, but they can tell where we're at from up to a hundred feet away. Now, I would think that it, that a little bitty insect that small wouldn't be able to smell me a hundred feet away, but they can. They absolutely can. So they can hunt us down. Just the way that we would think of Dracula being able to hunt down all of his victims, right? Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes, they want to suck our blood and they look at our infrared radiation. Okay. Now, it's the females that bite, right? Mm -hmm. The reason that they do that is because they need the energy, they need the substances to develop the mosquito eggs. Now, What is a mosquito, Mac? The mosquito egg? That's where all the little babies come from. Oh. 
Now listen to this. This should really be terrifying. More terrifying than any Dracula monster or Bob growling at us during our podcast. You're messing up our audio, dog. Why don't you... Yeah. Be quiet, you dog. Be quiet, doggy. Go check on those coyotes for us. Thank you. Stupid. Now listen. A typical female mosquito can drink at least her entire body weight in blood. Her entire body weight. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Now, let's talk about our second blood-sucking parasite. uh, Blood-sucking insect. This bug that we're going to be talking about truly haunts your dreams. This bug is a bed bug. Have you guys ever heard of bed bugs? No. Horrible, terrible little creatures. Now they get their name from their preferred home. They live in our beds, in our bedding, in other areas where humans like to sleep. Okay. They are, as I mentioned earlier, parasitic insects that feed on the blood of humans. What a bed bug say? I want to suck your blood. 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 And live in your sheets. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, just like mosquitoes, they're attracted to the carbon dioxide that we exhale. Okay? Now, while we sleep, us breathing pulls them from their hiding places and makes them come out. Okay? Now, we don't hear a lot about bed bugs anymore because they were basically eradicated in the 1940s because they were such a nuisance. While people were sleeping, they were getting completely bitten and eaten up by these horrible little creatures. Right. Right. But remember, just like Dracula, they went to suck your blood, okay? But they've been coming back recently since about the 1990s. That's what my research shows. Scientists believe that this resurgence is likely due to the development of pesticide resistance. So we had scientists developing different types of chemicals that could kill these little guys and they wouldn't bother us. But now they're starting to figure out how to beat the pesticide. That's pretty scary. Now they can go for up to a year without feeding on blood. So basically, they don't have to eat for an entire year. Now, because that they're so hardy, they're so resilient, this makes them very difficult to, to kill. So it is pretty scary. Now, you have to check when you go to hotel rooms, especially if you're traveling outside of the country. You really have to check and make sure that there's no bed bugs. Can they give they you could, diseases? Um, I didn't show that they could give you any diseases in my research, but they could hitch a ride with you. So they could actually get into your suitcase, they could get on your clothes, and you could come home, lay down, and they could start a brand new home in your bed, which is terrible. You don't want that because they're very, very difficult to get rid of. But what if it gets on Can Oscar? spiders get in your bed too? I'm sure in theory they could. That's another terrible nightmare, right? Mm. The spiders are generally pretty gentle. But you, but you definitely don't want to share a bed with a spider. A tarantula in your bed. Think about that. Yes. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think they're good at cuddling. I don't think they're Hair good at cuddling. They're on you all night. Okay. Our third blood sucking insect this is something that we're all familiar with fleas oh yeah dogs get them cats get them i woke up with a flea on my back yep because your dogs had gotten fleas me too fortunately we got rid of the fleas but you know what in the summertime dogs get fleas pretty regularly you've got to make sure that you're bathing them and treating them but let's talk about fleas themselves they are parasitic insects they do not have wings, and they love to <laughs> suck your blood. Now, do they walk? They like to hop. Why? I don't know. That's just their preferred method. Do they, they don't have fly, legs? but they hop. Yeah, they do have little legs. Now, but why can't see them? Because they're super, super tiny. Fleas but, are but itty one, tiny bitty. But the one that I woke up with, it was super big. You said. The flea? Mm-hmm. Well, it was big for a flea, but fleas mm-hmm. in general are very, very tiny. Now, um, I here's had a something. Big flea when I was. When you I saw was a big dead. flea. Um, 
when I was a mermaid, I my dad cut me and I got into the wild. So my dad put on shoes. I and I went for a walk. Penny sidetracking. Penny sidetracking. Okay, come back. Let's talk about fleas. Let's talk about fleas. Okay, now listen. The flea saliva actually helps dissolve our skin but some... so that they can suck our blood more easily. Ew, 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 ew. How crazy is that? Yeah. That's probably why Beetle's skin feels so rough. Beetle doesn't have fleas. She doesn't? Does Bob? Why does she eat herself so much? She's, she's super old and she has... A terrible Baby, skin no condition eating. that I like to call Takaroma. Yeah. Baby, no she doesn't eating smell smell skin. Now. Yeah, that's because she's getting shots. Now, relative to their small size, fleas are some of the best jumpers in the entire animal kingdom. And they can leap distances over 100 times their length. Okay? Like so that would mean if you were as good of a jumper as a flea, you could jump a hundred pennies. You could jump a hundred of these pennies? Yes. And you could jump a, a hundred cc's. Yeah. Dad okay. could jump a hundred of his? Now, just like bed bugs, fleas are very like resilient. Mommy? And they don't like to be killed by pesticides, okay? Now, a flea can stay up in its cocoon for up to six months, Okay. And it generally emerges after it's being stimulated by some sort of touch, okay? Now, let's move on to an even creepier one. And this one definitely is attracted to our pets, like dogs and like cats. This, ticks. You got it, sister. Ticks. ticks, okay? Ticks are, again, considered parasites now but they're actually in the arachnid class okay so they're in the same class as spiders which is pretty interesting right because don't they look like spiders they kind of do now they don't have wings and they don't have a t in, in in any antennae okay they embed themselves in your skin and they can be very very difficult to remove now ticks do transmit a ton of diseases Lyme's disease, Q fever, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, and Colorado tick fever, okay? They're really awful. You have to be very careful when you're out hanging out in the woods. What you can do is wear long pants and boots, and what you wanna do is tuck your pants into your boots, okay? And that a lot of times will prevent ticks from crawling onto your skin. But if you do get a tick, you have to tell your parents and they know the way to, to remove them. Because again, their little head will embed in your skin. And if you don't get that head out, you could get a terrible infection. Like I had a tick in my hair that one time. Yes. And Cece got a terrible infection. No. She didn't get a terrible infection. Mom had to remove the tick in a very How? specific way. It hurt. Yeah. How? You have to You have to take the head out. You've got to yank it really hard. Cut! It hurt. Like Ugh. this. Okay. Ow. So let's talk about another type of insect it. that likes to suck blood. Ow. This is lice. Now, lice don't have wings. Now, this is something that's very common in schools, okay? A lot of times, lice can go around, and basically what they do is they get in your hair, and they make you itch like crazy. Itch, 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 itch. Mm -hmm. I bet you you have been checked for lice at school. I've been checked plenty of time at, times. It feels so weird. But you Me know what? Too. It's good because they're trying to prevent the spread of how that do, type of bug. How do they find lice? Okay, so what they do is they part your hair and they're looking for the little insects in there. Um, do, are my they like teacher black? did that. They can be black or white. It depends. Now, or they, they looked yellow? at your hair. Um, yeah, kind of like aphids. I don't know about yellow. Yeah. Now, head lice are typically found on the scalp, just like we talked about, but they can also be on the neck and behind the ears. Um, now, they like to feed on the skin, but they have been known to run to suck your blood. <laughs> I keep on saying that. Because they're just like Dracula. They're a vampire. Vampire insects. Okay. Now, here's another type of insect. Mites. 
okay? Mites are also in the arachnid class of insects. So that means they're related to spiders. And also, what other insect were we talking about that loves to suck blood that's related to spiders? Ticks. Absolutely. Okay? Now, mites are very common in homes. And what they do is they feed off of dust, which are dust. Okay, now this is a weird thing. Our dust in our homes are, is largely comprised of our dead skin cells, okay? So when our skin re, re, renews, rejuvenates, and we slough off the old stuff, kind of like a snake, but we don't slough it off in as one big piece like snakes do. I know, do. like you get that scabby skin and then you itch it off. Yeah, and well, it guess falls what? on the floor. It falls on the floor and it becomes dust. Now, dust mites love to snack on that stuff, okay? Super gross, super gross, super gross. Now, um, they also like to suck on blood. There's a specific type of mite that's called a scabies mite that likes to lay their eggs under the top layer of the skin. Um, now, a lot of people can be allergic to mites. Now, Beetle, our 17-year-old pit bull, she has a genetic form of mite, which basically mites kind of always live on your skin and your immune system for, for dogs. And a dog's immune system has the ability to fight it off. Now, when they're puppies or when they're very, very old, their immune systems are weak. And um, they can't really fight it. They can't it. really fight it off. That's why Beetle has these terrible skin problems. So she actually has to take a weekly shot. That's what happens when you're a really old yeah. pit bull. You're 17 and, years old. And she got, got to get pill and a joints pill. I have to give it out. Yeah, you've got to give her a joints pill. And then we also give her pills by mouth. But anyway, so her skin is actually infected by this certain type of mite. And, but it wants to suck her blood, okay? terrible right oh i think the coyotes are joining us i wonder if it's gonna pick up on the audio i hope so It'll make everything super spooky now our last blood sucking insect is flies now what did you know that flies are blood suckers i thought they just flew around and landed on you and they pooped on you every time they landed well, no, we're going to talk about some very specific types of blood-sucking flies. Now, again, remember, mosquitoes are technically a fly, okay? And we know that they're blood-suckers. But there are other type of flies, like the tsetse fly, mm -hmm. the deer fly, and the sand fly. Like, like it has horns, the deer? Now, the tsetse flies are kind of horrible. Now, tsetse flies are found in places like Africa, and what they do is they burrow in your skin and they lay an egg. So, for example, if people hang their clothes outside and one of the little flies lays an egg and you put your clothes on, that egg could burrow down in there, okay, and a worm can come out. It's pretty horrible. Now, the tsetse fly can also bite you and, and put that egg in there, okay? And because what they're trying to do is live off the blood of your skin. Okay. What the heck, fly? What's that fly? Now, deer flies, they do the same thing. Okay. They want to lay their, their larva in a human host and use that blood. Okay. But why do they call them a deer fly? Because it's Because they horns. generally... We'll mess with deer. They, that's what I thought. Yeah. Like, do, do you have horns? That but they like anything with blood. There's another one that's called the Loa Loa, which is also called an eye worm. Now, can you imagine why it would be called an eye worm? The eyes? Yeah. So, that's right. One so the eye? larva can come out of the eye after there's been a bite or there's been an, an infection, right? Okay, now, the sand fly is also another horrible type of fly that lays its egg in its victim's skin. Any type of mammal, 
sometimes humans, okay? <gasps> like deer? But their main objective, no matter what, is to what? Suck your blood. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay, so in the end, there are vampires. There's Dracula, which, you know, that's a made-up monster. And then there are real insects that like to suck your blood. Blah, blah, blah. Which, what's scarier? Blah, blah, blah. Um, blah, blah, blah. I insects. want this. Insects. Okay. Insects. On this list, what was the most horrible creature? What What's going to be haunting your Halloween nightmares? Um, nothing. Penny's brave. Know. I don't know. Okay, I think good. all of them will haunt me. All of them. Okay. Especially leeches, even though they're not a bird. <laughs> and they're not on our list. But anyway, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Remember, if you enjoyed the podcast, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button or that notification button, depending on whatever app, podcast app you're listening in. Please make sure that you also give us a rating and review because that really helps the visibility of this podcast and helps others learn about what it is that we're doing. Because remember, the universe in a seashell is all about making this world a more equal and opportune place one girl at a time. We can't do that alone, right? No, we cannot. Thanks, guys, for listening. Bye. Okay. Okay, you've got to give your best Dracula. Blah, blah, blah.